Hi class, how are you today? Today we're going to make a little fake stained glass window out of tissue paper. To do that, you're going to need some wax paper, some tissue paper, just a little bit, some different colors. I have green, pink, yellow, and orange, um, blue, um, just a few little pieces that we're going to cut up. And I have a piece of black or a piece of white paper, construction paper. So gather your surprise and come back. Okay, now that we have our materials, oh, you also need a paintbrush and a little bit of water. Okay, now that we have all our materials, what we're going to do is you are going to take um, your tissue paper and you're going to cut some squares out of it. So to do that, I'm just going to fold it in half, my colors. And with my scissors, I'm just going to cut like little strips, about one inch, maybe inch and a half strips. And I don't need too many of them. And then I'm going to cut them into little inch squares. And I guess that's going to be enough because the window's not going to be gigantic. Alrighty. Me, I'll do all of them. Okay. That side, that side. Now I want to spread these out so I see the color. So I want to be able to pick my colors before my fingers get wet. So you want to spread them all out so you can pick out your colors. Take your time during this part. Make sure your fingers are nice and dry. So you want to have all your colors spread out. Each one. quick as you can. And then after you get that, we have nice out so we can reach for the colors we feel like. Now comes the fun part. We're going to get to paint our colors. So, oh, I like these colors. Okay. So, to make the frame part, what we're going to do is um, you're going to take a piece of paper, fold it in half. Crease it in the middle. And then with your scissors, you're simply going to cut in about two inches the whole width of the big scissors. Move down two inches, cut in again, and you're going to cut out the inner rectangle. Open it up and you have a frame. Okay? Nice, easy way to make a frame. Okay. Let's put that aside because we're not going to need that yet. Okay. Save your scraps. We'll use them later. We have lots of art to do to get through the school year. Now take your wax paper. You're going to need about 12 inches. 12 inches is um, about this much, okay? So think of maybe your shoulder length, okay? So I'm going to go, okay, so about this much, maybe a little bit further. And I'm going to rip it off. I want to fold it in half and give it a crease. A crease means a nice little fold with my finger. So I fold it in half. I'm going to open it back up. And I'm going to take my glue and that little itty bit of water that I have, just a little bit. It's only just a drop in there. See, just a little, like 10, 15 drops of water. And I'm going to put some glue in it, about the equal, equal amount of water. So, just let my, about two tablespoons, because I have to do two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of glue. Well, that's enough, I think. Maybe a little bit more for luck. Close it up. Cap your glue. Always close it off, because you don't want to get the cap all gluey and icky. Now, roll up your sleeves past your elbows. And we take our paintbrush, nice clean paintbrush, dip them in, and we're going to slowly, not crazily, we're going to nice slow with control. We're going to take our time and stir the glue nice and calmly, not crazy, nice and calm so it's all staying in the cup, not making a mess. Mom or grandmom does not need a mess in the house. Okay. Ooh. 
Looks like milk. Does not taste like milk. Do not drink this. All right. So here we go. Now I'm going to paint a little on my piece of paper. I'm going to paint it in the middle. Paint, paint, paint. I'm painting with this watered down glue on one side, only one side of the tissue paper. There we go. Now, put that aside, and I'm going to pick my first color. For my first color, I'm picking my favorite color. My favorite color is blue. So Miss TC's picking a blue, and I'm going to put it down. <gasps> Sticks. My next time, I'm going to pick yellow. I'm going to put it right next to it. Yellow. I let it overlap a little. And look what happened when it overlapped. When it overlapped, it turned a little bit green. My next color, I picked pink. I let them overlap a little bit. And I'm going to fill the whole paper with my chips of My chips of the whoops, whoopsie, tissue, paper. tissue paper. Here it is. I don't want to hold it up because I don't want it to drip on anything. So we're going to keep it down on the paper. Okay. So I'm putting it down to let it sit there. I just don't want it to drip anywhere. So keep it down on the table when you're working. So just one by one, say the color orange. Or mom might say, oh, pick up a pink. So pick up a pink. Uh, find yellow, find yellow. Find green, find the green. And you want to pick colors that are different next to each other. You don't want the same colors next to each other, okay? So look and say, it's like problem solving. Say, well, I've got a yellow and a green, so I don't want to have a yellow and a green. I'm going to put an orange. So you got to figure it out each time. Say, oh, what would be different? Oh, so now I've got to say, oh, now I'm going to try a pink. I'm going to try a yellow. And you're just going to fill up the whole paper. So take your time, but really try to figure out a way to make it look really neat and pretty and not wrinkly. You don't want it to be too wrinkly. So and you want to do one paper at a time. Yeah, they look pretty, don't they? I'm going to hold mine up. As soon as I get the chips down, I'll be able to hold it up for you. So I'll put mine down super fast. Grab a couple more. If you need to add more glue, go ahead. You can do that. Got a yellow for in here. I need a yellow. I need a blue. I definitely need a blue here. My favorite color. Oh, I need a pink. Mm, definitely need a pink. I need a, a blue and an orange. Oh, I love color. All art teachers love color. That's a crazy thing to say. We all love color. Yeah, here we go. What pretty. I need a green. I need an orange. I like doing this kind of project. It's fun because there's no right or wrong in art. Always say that to yourself. No right or wrong in art. Okay, once I get it down like this, the next thing you want to do is want to make sure I get it all the way to the end. Some colors all the way to my end. Make one more blue down here because I want to cover up all my glue. Now, put a little drop of glue down here on this side, on this side. And we're going to fold it over like closing a book, okay? Closing a card. Just cover it up, okay? And now I'm going to quickly just gently fold it over. Press it down. Ooh, look how pretty. With my fingers, I'm pressing it down. And they're blending. My colors are blending. It's actually called bleeding. When colors bleed like this, it's called bleeding. All right. So, see my colors? Okay. Now I'm going to take my, my window like this. I'm going to put some glue around the edge of the frame back here. 
Okay. Just quickly, I'm going to do that. Rub some glue around it. There's no right or wrong. I bet your windows are going to look beautiful. I wish I could see them and hang them up. You know how I'd love to hang up your artwork or save it for the art show, right? But we'll try to get that all together next time. Press it down. Trim off anything that's hanging out over your black frame. Out look. Do you like it? I hope yours turns out well. Have fun. You can hang this up in a window and it'll look really pretty when light shines through it. Have a great day. See you guys soon. Bye. See you next week.